You are watching Ado 891. What's going on guys? Welcome to 80891. I'll be your host for today. Before we jump into it, please like, subscribe and hit that little bell in case you haven't already. Maybe show some friends. Now, let's dive straight in. We've all heard about global warming, ice sheets melting and breaking away, causing the world's oceans to rise. But what about the wildlife? The World Wide Fund for Nature, or WWF, estimates that there are only 22,000 to 21,000 polar bears left in the world. Since the 1960s, world leaders from the various habitats where polar bears call home, like Canada, the United States, Denmark, Norway and Russia, have been making a conscious effort to protect the critically endangered and vulnerable animal populations. In 1973, they established a treaty called the International Agreement on the Conservation of Polar Bears, which strictly regulates commercial hunting. But even with those practices in place, scientists are still worrying about polar bears populations, particularly in Canada. According to the WWF, 60 to 80% of the world's polar bears reside there, and it's the only country where the population of polar bears is actively declining. Why don't we release polar bears into the Antarctic? It is cold, it has snow, and it's relatively untouched by humans. Also, seals and penguins are in abundance at its coast. I mean, this sounds like a world where they could thrive, right? Well, not exactly. You see, theoretically, polar bears would thrive quite well in Antarctica, but they would thrive for only a short amount of time. Although the Arctic and the Antarctic region may appear to be um, almost identical, lots of ice and snow and a pole in the middle, these are two very different environments. So no matter how alert and speedy they are in the water, they are curious creatures when on land. And let's remember that penguins, which are normally torpedoes in the water, are comically clumsy when they try to rush on land. Studies have shown the long-term effects on the Antarctic environment to be quite catastrophic. Introduce a healthy number of polar bears in Antarctica, and within just a few years, they will probably have gobbled up every seal and penguin within a gazillion mile radius. And then, left with no other food source, the polar bears will also fade into oblivion. Also, Antarctica has some of the most hostile weather conditions known to man. This alien world is the coldest, windiest and driest continent on Earth. Near the coast, the temperature can exceed to plus 10 degrees at times in the summer and fall below 40 degrees in winter. Over the elevated inland, it can rise to about minus 30 degrees in summer but fall below 80 degrees in winter. That's even colder than the surface of Mars. These conditions will instantly freeze exposed skin if not covered. The lowest temperature yet recorded on the Earth's surface was minus 89.2 degrees at Vostok Station on the 21st of July 1983. Pretty cold, huh? So where do you think we could relocate these majestic creatures? Leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys real soon.